Hello again. This is Harvey S. And I'm here at Colstein, New York City, NYC. And this is Harvey's Corner. And it's a special place in the Colstein shop. And this is a new podcast called Base in the Corner, where I highlight and interview what I call the lifeblood of the New York music scene, bass players that play all kinds of different styles. And they, sometimes you don't notice them if you're not a bass player, but you realize these are people that don't, don't go thump, thump, thump. They're great musicians, and they've done amazing things. And I'm here to show you that. So our guest tonight is the wonderful bass player, Ken Filiano. Now, thank you, man. Thank oh, you. How are you doing, you. Ken? I'm doing good, man. Oh, cool. I'm doing good. So... I'm just going to throw down right now. <laughs> You're going to throw, throw down. down right now. <laughs> I used to drive from Syracuse, New York, to New York City and, Bo- and or Boston when you and Sheila were doing the duo. Oh, wow. Because I was playing, I had just turned from trumpet to bass. And you, I, you was playing, I, I said, yeah, that's the way a bass should sound, like oh. a melody. So I say that, yeah, yeah, I'm not being paid, by the way. <laughs> no, five bucks. Get, 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 get. <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm just saying this because, you know, you're, you're bringing out this whole thing of all these bass players that you're interviewing that have this wide, bright, wide broad thing. And I said, you, 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 I mean, you're in that, in that seed pool that's, that spread the seed, you know? Thank you. So I Thank just wanted you. to give that off the top of the head. Wow, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, shoot. <laughs> I made a joke earlier. I said to somebody, I'm going to ask you a question. Can you give me five bucks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to ask you for any money. Yeah. Like, I already did that. Uh, <laughs> so um, what are you doing now? Tell, Give me some of the most recent things you've been doing because um, you're always working. And, I, you know, what, well, are you, what are you up to? Well, I'm actually... Um, in the middle of m- mixing and editing and contouring um, a solo project. Oh. The, sec- the second one, the first one was out in 2002, so it's about time, 20 years later. So I'm doing yeah. that. Yeah. And that's, I don't even know who I am sometimes. On when this you one. say solo, you mean just only bass alone? Uh, only so. only bass and my accoutrement, my foot pedal stuff. Oh, okay. So, you know, so some of the some of the recording, some, you know, I, I, I went in, did a two-day session, the first day, I did half of it with uh, only acoustic, just acoustic stuff. Some stuff I wrote, some free improvised stuff, and the rest of the day and a half were uh, is with with the various pedals, and, and I just limited them to a certain thing. And now I'm kind of going through that and, and editing and seeing what pieces of the puzzle go in. So I'm, you know, I'm halfway halfway through it now. So that's the project that's on there. Oh well, that's a good thing you're yeah. doing, <laughs> and and. Uh... Wow, I don't even know what to say. That sounds so much fun. It is, it, and, and but not actual tunes, more free improv. Well, I have, I have, a, I have a tune, I have a couple of tunes. Some of tunes the, also. I had did three pieces by a saxophone player, Steve Adams, who oh. uh, we have, a, we've been, we've been playing together since 1978. We have a duo project and various projects, and so there were three, four pieces that uh, of his that I said, uh, hey, can I, can I bring that? They'd be work for solo bass. So I did that. And I had I revisited a piece that was on my first solo disc that I rewrote, and it's like wow, twenty years later, I want to revisit this and see if I've evolved or if I'm still the same schmuck that I was back then. Yeah, we know yeah. we know you've evolved, but it's the same thing. Like Miles did a lot of different recordings and Coltrane of of, of the same so the same materials and seen the yeah. And for me, that's great. You know, then you hear another perspective. So yeah. I like that concept. So that was a nice touchstone. And then I did a, a couple more things that were that were dedicated to some people I play with, you know, like in my trio, like the, to T. A. Michael T. A. Thompson, to um, uh, see, there I go with names. I know with names and with uh, uh, Michael Atias, the saxophone oh, player. Oh yes, he's great. So yeah. I did that, and I wanted to do it so that there was an acoustic, like, like the bass principle is this: the bass as acoustic. But then there's this other face for me of the bass, you know, with the electronics. 
and I've always wanted to have the base be the generator of electronics. The, with the electronics. What electronics are you using? I'd be curious. Well, I'm using some old digital digital delay boxes. I have oh, nice. the Echo 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 Plus. That I have two the of them. Echo Plus. Plus, I got wow. I have two of those. So I, you're going retro because I can I I don't have to uh, pre. Um, pre-make anything i don't do any it's everything's being made on the spot right so right. and i can pick and I, out of the old boxes i can grab stuff i can kind of like weasel in and out of stuff i can pull it out put, put it back more in, hands on more hands yeah. on so i do that and i have a, a i have a, a, a ring modulator that i'm using yeah this is all the retro stuff yeah Wow. Ring modulator, uh, the uh, Line Six model mm-hmm. modeler. You, you know that has some great little stuff in there that I still haven't figured out. That's why I use it. <laughs> and then I have a couple of um, programs that are that are based upon the fun, the uh, John Cage Fontana mix, where wow. you put. Uh, I would get I uh, grab things, put them into the you know like uh, samples, put them into the mix into the Fontana mix, and that will change up. You can't predict what it's going to do. Oh. And I, I, I put it on one time when I was cleaning dishes. I did something. I cleaning dishes, cleaning the kitchen. took about an hour. I did not hear it repeat itself. So I said, that's my perfect partner for, uh, you know, for uh, putting that on and, my, and for me to improvise with it that. It never plays the same, same thing, thing once. Once, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. that's, so that's, <laughs> the, that's the idea of that. And I wanted the, com- the combination... Because with the electronics, the bass is going to be acoustic, but it's also going to be so distorted that sometimes on there, you won't, um, you don't understand that it's the bass. But it's the biggest. The bass has such a frequency of sound from the, like the, the, the spectrum that of sound possibilities. You can mess with it even without, even without the electronics. So you add the electronics in it, and it's messed with even more. Yeah, it becomes a, a new sound. A new sound. Great. And like some other bands you've been playing with. Oh, actually, I just got back. Because you're always doing that. Yeah, yeah. I just got back from uh, Switzerland Ooh. with this group called the uh, Other World Orchestra. Oh. And uh, uh, the, the Daniel Schneider. Do you, know, you probably oh, know Daniel, Daniel Schneider. Schneider. Yeah, yeah, Schneider. Schneider, uh, Schneider, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, let's call the whole thing on. So yeah. <laughs> so he, he's written this amazing material. and He's, like, putting he's this, amazing. Yeah, so we got together. It's, it was an orchestra. He got the principal violinist. Now, the principal second violin, principal cello, principal viola from various orchestras in, uh, you know, uh, the violinist is from the, the London Philharmonic. The other three are from the Vienna Philharmonic. They come in. They were like a guiding artist. Myself and Michael Wimberley on drums. So we, And we were all kind of, were kind of like guiding artists. And the bass chair was in the orchestra chair. You know, I was doing whatever, you know, stuff that he wrote that was just for the orchestra. It's just hard also, music, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, man. And then... Then, then I'm in the rhythm section to do that. So we were there for these young players to uh, uh, understand how to articulate, not just in the classical realm, but also this material that's written by a great composer that's written how to articulate, how to create this stuff, how to think in rhythmically, not, not just in your, in your classical system. Since system. It, was a great, it was a great experience. Oh, I'd love to hear some of that. That's oh, man. It's got to be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, he's one of these guys I'm kind of afraid of because I heard the music is so hard. Oh, my God. Man. And it's also, actually, if you, I've been, the, the, the synchronicity of this, I was, I've been studying out of the Messian, you know, my musical language. So I'm only in his part about the rhythm where you add or subtract a dot. Which which means if you're in you know one two one two three one two three four 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 one two three one there's you it actually be moving a dot so right so you're adding so this whole thing is expanding contracting so I'm studying this stuff studying and then I get the call to do this now I haven't seen Daniel in 20 years you know I pass I've been listening to his music and all this music he sends it up and I'm going holy crap. I have to learn all of this stuff, and it's like all over the joint. I know you had to put some yeah. time in there. Oh my god! Yeah. So, but it was great. It was a great growing experience. Wow. You know, so his, his stuff is off the hook. So you're doing some good stuff, as as you always. <laughs> There's always, always some interesting, always some interesting stuff. And then at the same time, you know, it's like I did. A, I just did a duo concert with Lafayette Harris on piano. Oh yeah. Uh, we did it at St. Peter's Church a couple couple months ago, and uh, again, that we're just doing like. Standards. Standards. He swings. And he swings. And, and, but you know, the thing is, you can never leave that feeling. 
No, it's no matter how out you get, no matter how out you get, it has to be some kind of like that's home. That is home. That that kind of like like Italian nature, the olive oil between your fingers. You can always travel to other areas, but exactly. you come home. You come home, yeah, that's and you bring that to the areas. And you bring yeah. those areas home, you know. That's what it's all about, exactly. Yeah. So now, you know, you ended up, like, becoming a bass player. You right. were originally a trumpet player. Trumpet player. So, yeah. like, t- why? T- tell me about your transition or how you got into the bass. I'm very interested. Well, it's just, it, 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 what's interesting is as long as I played trumpet, because I, I quit trumpet uh, a month and a half before my senior recital at the university. Wow. Right? And, uh, <laughs> right, great timing. Great, yeah, per- my, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm perfect timing. But up until that time, I realized afterwards I didn't know it then, but I I never liked any other any other bass players. Like when they would be playing, and they were just kind of like just giving you they were giving you numbers, not a feel, right? I mean, but when I listened to the to the el- to the I say the elders, the people that were doing it at the time, you know, I mean, I at that so that was nineteen seventy nineteen seventy five is when I changed. So I used to go. I used to go and like I would take a take a, pl- a bus from Syracuse to New York to hear the Thad Jones Mellowest Big Band. You know, to Ooh, hear yeah. to hear uh, Richard Davis playing, to hear um, George Morass play. I said that's bass playing. You know, that, you know, and then when I when I got introduced to you, mm-hmm. I mean, it's like I would do that. You know, and all all, all the other cats that play, were playing that were playing both time a me- melody, and a melody doesn't have to be ornamentally rhythmic. A melody has to have a sense of expression. Right, so you, that's what I was looking for, and sometimes I wasn't getting it, but I didn't know that. But at the same time, I hit an emotional wall that I didn't know with the trumpet, where I could not, I could not, I, I knew that if I continued on this path, that that wall would be stronger than me, and I would not be in music. Right? Yeah, it's a, it, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't me. meant for. But you. I didn't know. But I didn't know what was meant for me, right? So I had to get an operation on my jaw for wisdom teeth. Oh, okay. Right? So I, they put me out, so I had my jaw was wired up. It's all my wisdom teeth were kind of impacted. Oh. Going, so they three me moved it, and I was tight. I was, you know, nothing. I went to a jam, you know, there was a jam session. That school was open 24 hours. I, some friends of mine were playing, and they were playing a jam a jam session, and I went in, and there was no bass player in it, and there was a bass in the corner. I, while they're playing, I kind of just went over to it, picked it up, and started to play. I go, whoa, where you been all my life? Yeah, so, really? the, so I start to play, and then they, when it was finished, I then knew the tune, and they go, when did you start studying bass? I said, I haven't, and I knew that you I already could play. I, I, I felt it. the the or the organism, the, the way the body, or you know, and it's like that that relationship. I totally I relate not, to that. And I said, I'm in. I uh, I I I thought about it, and I, I I went to my trumpet teacher. I said, I'm quitting. These days, I can't repeat what he said to me. Oh, I'm sure he was rather unhappy. Well, he said, you know, well, I always knew you were a, 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 a string player. And it had to do, it had to do with gender. <laughs> and <laughs> Because he would always tell me, he would always t- say, you know, you have to play loud. He said, you play too delicately when I was playing trumpet, right? Uh. So, and I went, to the, I went to the dean and told him I was leaving, blah, blah, blah. And they all thought I was lazy. And, you know, and I go, I don't, I don't care. I, I got to do this. No, you, you, yeah. it was a calling. It was a calling, right? And so I, I dropped out of school so that there was a guy in town who I wanted to study with, but he wouldn't take me for a year. Because he said, he said you're too old. And he, he had his own emotional problems. He was a junkie, and, oh. you know, and a, but a great bass player, a great artist. But, you know, he, had, he was wrestling with that, with that, so he didn't want to deal with me. But I kept going back to him because he knew Scott LaFaro. He played in the orchestra. He studied with, uh, with um, Schmakovsky. Down in in Miami when Schmuckowski was there, the you know the Russian bassist, so he had all this stuff, and I knew that this cat I had to st- I had to study with him. So you forced him to teach him. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we became like cl- you know, close friends and, and until he passed. Oh, you know? that's great. So yeah, that that's a great story. <laughs> it's it makes sense. Yeah, you know, and th- that's the way that's life. Sometimes you don't you, you know like I don't say you choose anything. It usually chooses you. You, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, and then yeah. you can choose whether to accept or reject. You know, because I was always fascinated with the bass, even though I was a piano player. And when I was very young, there used to be—I I lived in this neighborhood, and I was very young in Winthrop, Mass. And there was a guy who lived down the street. His name was Roger. I don't even know who he is, <laughs> and he had a bass. 
and he would do these gigs and uh, I'd see him getting leaving his house with the bass and I was just always like wow and then I, I had to take dance classes you know they made me do that and sometimes they had a piano and him play and I and I just couldn't stop looking at him you know and then, but I didn't play bass till later. But I'm just saying, it's there. It's there. Yeah, it's, it's inside there. of you. Yeah. Now, do you have, so you have some recordings? Oh, I have. So I, what I did was I brought. Uh, oh, because yeah, I know you're on a lot of recordings. and a book. A book, man. We should talk about this at some point. But I don't. We, not, we may not have time. But that book is is is, is a deep. Is, oh. is, is, a, is a deep book that's, that changed me through COVID. Through COVID. But I don't. So I don't know. I wasn't sure. Kind of what I did was I brought some old. Well, stuff. just pick a pick a two or th- two CDs. Yeah. Well, no, because there was some. There was some. There was some here. Like in other words, there's something with Connie, right? Uh, and, oh, and Connie with Andrea, Crothers. Connie Brothers, wow. and Andrea. Um, because my affin- my affinity for for being with, with with vocalists, right? And this one is yeah. Uh, put it up so that oh, that, I, that, well, actually, that the maybe camera, put, no, just aim it at that oh, camera. So, so, so with, with vocals, so, so this, some of this stuff is old material, um, but this one with um, uh, 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 names and I, uh, Bonnie Barnett. This is called Trio for, Trio for Three, right? Trio for three. Because I was using some of my boxes. That this was the this was like the seminal part of when I was going to start um, using using boxes. All those boxes. Yeah, starting to have oh. them as a, as another voice, and then and then this is with. Um, a piece with Connie Crothers, a trio with Connie Crothers and uh, Andrea Walber. And oh, this is Andrea okay. doing only free stuff. Wow, I've right. never heard her do much oh, of that because yeah. she's such a great yeah, singer. Yeah, she's, she's the songbook, exactly. But she's she also has a sensitivity for the free thing. So uh, th- I brought this because uh, because of this gentleman, I got sensitized to how bass and uh, voice work. Not you, you and, she- and Sheila. Yeah, so that's been a beautiful thing. So that's another singer thing, you know. So I've just brought those just saying that, and then this. Uh, you could do one more, and then we. Yeah, this uh, is a quart. A, this is a quartet called the uh, Clown Car, with uh, Michael <laughs> T. A. Thompson and uh, on, on drums. Now um, that's probably your your stuff, you know. Uh, this that, that's like like that. All my compositions. Uh, you yeah. do, I, I do. Uh, um, I love the cover. Di- digital uh, clean feet, you know, and uh, Mike um, Michael Atias is on this, and um, T- Tony Malaby and myself. And my boxes. Yeah, Malaby's another one. Another one. There, there you go. That guy. Yeah. Uh, Oh man, so great. Yeah, you're doing uh, amazing stuff. Just trying to, just trying to keep. keep. And and people will now maybe, you know, we'll have links and everything up up there so people can Can see the podcast. Yeah. And they can click on on. We'll get you links, and they'll they'll more people get to know what you're doing. Yeah, that'd be cool. And this guy, which you know, we're probably running out of time, but this. The, the the thinking body, the thinking body. When, when this is over, we'll talk about it. Yeah, we should talk about it. It's a, it's yeah. a, I become kind of like focused on like wow how the body, especially on the bass, can make a sound. Okay, we, we <laughs> shall talk. So anyway, thank hey, thank you, you man. It was a real right. pleasure, uh, and uh, keep making great music. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you. And likewise, and we will get together to play. We got to do, do the hang. We'll do the hang. We'll do it. <laughs> we got to come right here and we'll do it. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you.